I am ready to reveal the game, so uh, Pool of Radiance, please take us on over to the game reveal. Crappy! Plug your nose. That's not... Wait, that's not the thing that I planned to have. Super Noah's Ark 3D? What the crap? I thought I changed it. Yeah, yeah. Crappy, walk it back. Walk it back. I don't want you showing Noah's Ark, okay? I, uh, I legitimately created a new one, so that you are going to walk past fast or the the kung food okay i specifically there you go you're not avoiding the gross looking food crappy you get to walk in front of it and you get to smell well you know what i'm feeling pretty dang spicy but i think one of my good friends here is going to be showing up and giving us the game so let's go ahead and reveal Nasty Corn <laughs> Corn Dead. I still have you as Nasty Beethoven. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> oh, hello there. This is nasty. Nasty, nasty Corn Dan. Well, this game is too, so I mean that's fine. Yeah. Uh, so they vetoed a lot of games. I was trying to be nice. I was trying to be real nice. That didn't work. Aw, that's okay. And so I'm gonna apologize straight up to uh, to Dana, where <laughs> Dana's been trying to conspire to get this particular game going. Okay. I, I kind of went through my reserves and all of that, and I hit up on on this game. And so Dana, if you're out there, um, please come in and provide some commentary too on this. Uh, Dana actually gets the credit for finding this. Ooh. And it's an Amiga game. What is it? Um, Superman. <laughs> the the oh, man okay. of skill. Wait, finally a Superman that's not by Titus? Um, I think I would rather play the Titus Superman oh, games. Oh, no. <laughs> well, that's not, that's a, li a little concerning. Yeah. It's, um, here, we'll put it this way. I tested this for Dana when, when Dana was basically like, here, play this, play this garbage. Okay. And, um... I don't think I made it past... I, I played about 15 minutes, and I don't think I made it past the first level. Gotcha. That's not good. It's not good. However, and, I, I um, really enjoy Spooperman. Oh, yeah, this is definitely Spooperman. Spooperman, so, yeah. Ah. Uh, we, held, we held off on kind of giving this out. The original Amiga release for this... Um... Has so this game came out for the Amiga and the Atari ST. Okay. And uh, they just converted the game. It was an Atari ST game. They converted it over to the Amiga. And um, you know, they didn't convert the colors very well. You know how we've had a couple of Genesis games that were Amiga games where the yeah. color was like half of what it should be. Oh yeah. Right. Okay. That's what happened here. And so it wasn't until recently. Um, that somebody made a fix for it. Okay. And so, so now, now it's, it's bright and everything the way it should be. Um, and that's not going to help them any. I don't imagine it would, but nope, at nope, the it's very not. least we are going to be able to see the game and so will the players and so yeah. will everybody who's watching on the tournament. I'm, I'm excited. Uh, as long as it's not like Doom 2. Doom tube no, no, no. level I, of stuff. I think I it's know. already. I think it's all right. It, it's a okay. pretty straightforward game, right? That I didn't get very far. It had to go watch videos and stuff for. Dana yeah. got farther than I did. Okay. We we'll talked about Dana. it. The players will probably get um, farther than than right that as well. Yeah. So. That tends to be the case. Actually, we were talking about that a little bit last night during Don't Make Us Bored. If people didn't catch it, we had the Mystery Tournament special. Blasphemous Roar took over. Uh, we called it Don't Make Us Roar. Yep. I mean, sort of. I, I don't know if anybody other than me called it that, but I called it that. And it was a lot of fun. Definitely a very good episode of Don't Make Us Bored. I'd recommend that you go and watch it, y'all. So that you can get the full lore of I agree. Everything. Unfortunately, we don't have right there because we're at like the last five matches, right? There are only five matches left in round two. And they're all scheduled up with the exception of one. 
right? Everybody's picked for it. We just need to try to get a time. Do we have a zombie? Um, we do not. And oh, that's okay. Oh, no. I know. I'm crying. You can just get like... I, I, I cry dancing every time. crappy? Okay, I can make yeah, crappy dance. Crappy. You, you can make crappy dance. That's fine. I've got a crappy. Yeah. Do, do. Everybody. Do, do. So I, I do want to say, right? And, and this is important. In the GM Discord, right? The, yes. the comment from Nova Saul was, glad I can't zombie this. Holy moly. <laughs> Has Nova Saul played this before or just is uncapable of so. showing up? Oh, no. <laughs> I mean, you could still technically zombie if you wanted to, Nova Saul. Like, I don't it, care if you played Nova it or Saul's not. Nova comment in chat. I was supposed to be a zombie in a match with this game before that match exploded and got canceled. It is incredibly cursed. Okay. I mean, curses, uncurses. I think I see everybody up. I do as well, and I believe Withheld has given us the audio, so I'll go yes. ahead and turn that up. And it looks like we are going to have the crappy dance. Let me go ahead and uh, share. You might have to re... Yeah, okay. I'm going to share OBS with you real quick. You should be able to listen to it. Your voice will not be coming Ooh. through it. So you'll... Yeah, according to him, I've made improvements. This is like this is like fancy. Yeah, I've, I've been working on stuff so that you can... Like... I'm, I'm just trying. I'm almost legit, baby. We're getting there. Uh, by the way, fun news. Uh, yeah, we've got Cusa Grande tonight. We also have a match on Saturday at 11 a.m. Eastern. Saturday's my birthday. And what do I get no. to do first thing in the morning? I get to laugh at people playing video games. Yeah. It was literally like I was trying to get everything set up for this weekend. Right, so we'd be done this weekend. We can take a break next week and go straight into round three, right? Yeah. I got four out of the five matches scheduled, oh. right? Basically, on the only times people could work, right? Like, like we have very specific times. Withheld needed a weekday match, and Wednesday was preferred. This is to all sign up for it, right? Saturday is the 10-point match, and we tried to get, like, After all of them in, all, right? As we tried to left. start... Sorry about tried that. To start yep. Tried to start scheduling that. Yeah. Ready to go. Well, it's Canadian Thanksgiving this weekend. Right? Um, one of the players is Canadian. They go, I can do like 11 a.m. Saturday morning. Okay. Now, right, for some I mean, people, like, like, like oh, no. Gilder sees is in the match. He usually yeah. stays up late. I'm like, oh, no. The Gilder said, yeah, I'll do it. You know, no problem. Right, he goes. I'll be groggy, but it, it'll, you know, let's let's get this going. Yeah. Right. So literally, the only time we could get that match to go, 11 a.m. It looks like Alpha oh, Five. Oh yeah. Is tied up. The, literally, the only time we could get that match was Sunday at two. I mean, we'll go ahead and do it. We're doing it. Yeah. Yeah. We're so I got one last match to do, and based on everything I see now, it'll have to be next week. Well, everybody, we are doing the countdown right now, so get all of your spooper hero, your sp spooper mans, your get all of your emotes and spam those because we're doing the countdown. So, flood, flood it, flood chat with them, okay? Come on, chat, share your bestest emotes. Anything with the letter S is probably welcome as well. And if it's not, I will ban you. <laughs> it's probably fine. Yeah, Silver Surfer L. Yeah, that's basically like Superman. Could be. Oh no. Uh, all right, so Superman. Um, level one. <laughs> you ever played Space Harrier? Uh, yeah. Actually, we had a match <laughs> on uh the GDQ Hop Fix that was yeah. basically Space, Space Harrier. Space Harrier is like. Level one is basically Space Harrier. I think right? I, yeah. and, and you gotta make it through that. Now look, you can fly through rings. Um, we're gonna see a lot of game overs. Okay, I'm gonna work on right. get making this a little bit bigger for everybody as well, so uh just so that um, we and, and have so, a bigger screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so um 
you'll notice the game over menu. You have failed. It now falls to other heroes to champion Earth this thing. Aww. S Superman, why couldn't you do better? And Superman just goes and flies off, like... He would. F you. <laughs> We're done here. Uh, by the way, so, yeah, Essentia told me that she got virtual Bart for my birthday. And I'm very concerned you know. about my family. You're very concerned if, if that's this year? Yeah, that's this year. I mean, at least <laughs> it's not uh, we're back a dinosaur story. That's true. So if you notice something here, there's some rings. What? I'm pretty sure you have there, to fly through them. <laughs> there are rings in this game? That's not good. Yeah. Oh, I don't like that. I would do anything for Superman, but I won't do that. All right, so I, I'm kind of going off of, you know, like, um, score here for now, right? You know, we're kind of using that to gauge progress. Yeah. Um, you know, so I said if, if, if people are on the same level, we're going to use score to gauge progress because that's a, that's a pretty good feel for it. Yeah, it's not a bad feel at all. Uh oh. So if you notice, everybody has failed. And now falls on other heroes to champion Earth this day. To tell the truth, Superman, like, he is way all... He's all stuck up until, like, a little rock falls in front of him. And then he's like, oh, uh -oh. I'm Superman. Those, I'm going to die. Those rings might be um bad. You don't want to fly through those. They're, they're the attack from the guys on, like, the, the airplanes or something. Yeah. By the way, people are absolutely correct that I need to update things because I yeah, have messed everything. That's okay. That's okay. I, I rushed to put so, everything together, and honestly, we're already going, and we did fine. Here's the best part. How do you think you would control this game? Uh, Would it be down goes up, up goes down? No. no. Okay, so... What if I told you it was the mouse? <laughs> No, this is mouse controls. This is mouse controls. That's not okay. I don't like no, that. No, it's not. And now you can understand why I was stuck on this for like 15 minutes. Ah, uh, yeah. Justin, what are you? He's he's attacking me. No, don't bite me. Ah. He's. Oh, I need Superman in my house right now. Superman, can you please come and stop Justin from biting me, please? Uh, he says he's a gremlin. I'm a gremlin. Yeah, we we sometimes turn into gremlins in my house. That I mean, that happens. Yeah. Bad chop, do not tell him to bite me. I love that Automod, like, blocked <laughs> that term, though. Automod does not want people telling Justin to bite me. Yeah, bad, bad chop. <laughs> Auto tr yeah. Automod tried to save you. He did. I felt that that was inappropriate, so I told Automod that everything was fine. Automod, come back! <laughs> oh, I do like that this actually has the real Superman theme. Uh, yeah, like, the music is actually really good! I really like it! Like, I am impressed the music is actually good. So it has a manual. Right, that doesn't really mean much, but it has a manual. Oh, most games have manuals. That's how it goes, know. you know? They, but, but this game doesn't tell you anything. Right, I'll tell you what it is, right? Here's here's all of the controls that matter. At the start of each game is a comic book page. You may read the captions and use the joystick to continue the game screen. You know what? They tried the joystick and it didn't work. Um... Yeah. And so I, I mean, I did give them, and yes, yes, guys, I did give them the manual. Well, that's really nice. Uh, I, I, I suppose I, nice. I mean, oh. what are we doing? We're flying and there are ships. That's For now. all I know. And So all, each yeah. game has an, an icon bank from which you can select Superman's strengths and fighting powers. So icons available are flight, heat vision, super punch, super kick, telescopic vision, and super breath. Um, you'll get a variety of them for each level that you can pick from. Okay. All powers can exhaust Superman's energy levels. To replenish these levels requires short waiting time. During this waiting time, other icons can be selected and used. So you can okay. swap between them. 
Um, in all games, Superman has three chances to complete his mission. Right. So this first one, Superman's been directed by Perry White to meet Professor Corwin at Star Laboratories urgently. Ah. Superman's flying from Metropolis. He encounters Darkseid's evil parademons born out of the boom tube. The boom tube? The that, boom tube. No, the boom tube. Oh, come on. You can't say boom tube and not make me think of doom tube. I want the doom tube. Well, I cannot give you the doom tube. Um, so the dark side has equipped some of the parademons with concussion cannons. That's, I think, the round thing. Okay. These cannons fire deathly concussion clouds, which Superman must steer clear of at all costs to avoid a substantial drain on his energy levels. I don't want, I don't want per, or concussion cloud. I almost said percussion clouds, and those would be a yeah, little different. Yeah, these do a couple of times. <laughs> I know, unless Superman's a drummer, he's just... Oh my gosh, everybody, I'm just trying to jam. Okay, so yeah. yeah. So basically, we can, we can look at this, like, the time and the countdown bonus to kind of figure out. Will May Rose has had some really good attempts on here. Um, I think they're in first right now. This This is... I mean, they're, they're in first on score as well, right? I mean, not that the score is very high. Um, which is what we told them, progress and then score, if they made it to the same spot. You know, now that I actually see that you can shoot at where the mouse is on the screen, like, yeah, it, yeah, yeah. it's not as bad as I was thinking. It's still bad, but, like... But it's not great. Yeah, the fact that nobody has beaten the first level yet, I'm not too shocked at all. Uh, no, I told you, right, this game is rough. You know, that, that Dana and I went through this and like, yeah, we're going to use this. And and so I was going to hold off and wait for this until it was, a, you know, a little bit further along. And um, but you know what? They kept they kept vetoing everything. I couldn't give them a good round two game because they kept vetoing it. And and well, you know what happens at that point in time? The nuke. Yeah, honestly, this I can sort of understand. This is maybe a little bit nicer on the nuke side of things. But that's, is, not, it, it, that's not saying much. It still is a nuke. It's still not very good, right? What I think is useful um, here, you know, what kind of what I'm is, uh, you know, I, I feel like it's it's a nuke in that it, it, right? Like you have an expectation of what it should be, and that's just not what you're getting. Yeah. Right. And, and but I think if you figured out like how to play the game. Like, I, I, you know, I think as we go, I think Lil May Rose is doing a pretty good job of it with Held is starting to as well. Um, and I think Windrider Shiva is, is having a bit more of a struggle right here. And and so kind of once you figure it out, it, like if you can play Space Harrier, in theory, you can play this level. And now I say in theory, because I ain't ever done it. I ain't ever finished it. <laughs> I mean, I can't really blame you. Uh... This is, this is the type of game that, like, I would expect us to find on Cusa Grande and uh, probably be a little bit horrified by, like, as the GMs and be like, uh, let's make Novasol play it a little bit more. You know, let, let's make no, let's make one of our new GMs play a little bit and see if they're foolish enough to test it out Instead for me. That's it was me. Oh, yeah. But hey, I'll be right back. All right, go ahead. Well, right now, all of the players are trying to make as much progress as they can in this game. Unfortunately, nobody has managed to beat level one. That's not really unexpected, though. This is a very difficult game. And as you can see, Windrider Shiva's power just, just tanked, tanked super quickly. Uh, we do see a score, though, for the various players. The score is going to be helpful uh, if it does end up just being a tie between all of the players here. So it, it will. people are cheering for Crappy, though. I mean, Crappy is doing a good job of, like, he's dancing back and forth. He's not going to win. I got to be honest. Crappy. I mean, he's not even playing the game. True. I mean, I believe that. That's probably true. Actually, I guess maybe like the uh, I enjoyed my time here victory goes to Crappy because I don't know if the players are going to love this game. 
I honestly think that I could have some fun with this, though. It, it's definitely not the best, but I've seen worse. I feel like it's a game, like, once, once again, as you kind of pick up on on what it is, right? I feel like it's okay. Not okay. great. Right, but, but okay. I mean... Let's also consider this came out in 1989 90? for yeah, Amiga. This is actually like it's anything that came out in the Amiga 80s game. doesn't look this good. Seriously. You know, yeah, yeah, except, I mean, it's yeah, Amiga, so it the sounds arcade. pretty good. Yeah, the arcade it, usually right, has and, good and stuff. And it looks pretty good. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I think that's, that's true. I mean, the person who made the music, Wally Bebin, uh, also arranged the Ultima 5 music for the Atari ST, uh, worked on quite a few various games. It looks like one of the version of Hellraiser he worked on, Hawkeye, Pool of Radiance did music and sound effects for that. Uh, so, you know, he, he definitely did quite a bit of music uh, outside of this game. Of course, this game only really has one song and that's when you die. So it, it's not... If you're going to make one song, making one good make song... really good. And he did. He did a good job. Uh, we also have one of the developers... Uh, the person who did the art for this actually worked as the artist for the Elvira games. Uh, if you're familiar right. with those, and I li I like those. Those are really interesting. I think eventually uh, Elvira might make it over here, although technically I think it's actually good. It's just a little strange. I'll say what I'm surprised by so far, that nobody has um, started yelling in Discord yet. Okay. I kind of figured, like, no lie, I kind of figured that People get real mad about this game. I imagine we may have some yelling soon. Later? Yeah, for sure. By the way, the head programmer for this is named Gary Gary. And I'm just so happy that Gary Gary worked on this game uh, and also worked on Miami Vice, huh? For PlayStation Ooh. 2 and Windows. Ooh. Ooh. I didn't know there was a Miami Vice for Windows. There is, and it's some... Um... People say Gary sorry, Gray. You're... Oh, Gary Gray. I'm sorry. Like, I read it like five times, and I thought it was Gary Gary. <laughs> and I was like, I love that we have Gary Gary. Uh, he worked on Beverly Hills Cop. How about that? <laughs> I don't know if it's the Beverly Hills Cop that you know, but that is certainly it's probably a not. game. I believe it's also like a 2000s, early 2000 PS2 Windows. Yeah, you're probably right. Well, another programmer, David Mann, worked on Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. I think that's the one with everybody's favorite, Hagrid. Uh... Jet Set Willy, the BBC micro version, and that Jet Set Willy is a fantastic game. I don't I know about Jet the Set micro Willy. version, but that's kind of cool to try to do a conversion to the BBC micro of all things. Mm -hmm. People are asking about PS1 Hagrid. I yeah, I I don't know if PS1 Hagrid showed up until. Harry Potter 2, Electric Boogaloo, but yeah, I'm I'm excited. Yeah. As you should be. People are noting that the music isn't original. Well, if you get permission to use John Williams' music, then you better make a good version of it for the Amiga. And uh, uh, they did. They did great. They did. Uh, Hey, I have heard plenty of good songs absolutely butchered. So, I would say, sure, don't credit him for how good, like, how the tune, but you can credit him for how enjoyable the the song is on the Amiga. He obviously knew what he was doing, making a conversion to the Amiga yeah. for the music. 
I'm s I'm so sad it's not Gary Gary though. I want Gary Gary. Yeah, anybody, if you've listened to Back to the Future NES, you know how much a song can be butchered when they do a conversion. Uh, Because the power of love is the main theme and unfortunately is about three times too fast. I swear I just heard Superman getting whacked by a, a frying pan or something. That was beautiful. Okay, this game is... This is boring. Corn Dan. Yeah, well, you what know... Are, like, how many demons do you have to kill to get through level one? I don't remember. <laughs> remember, never okay. made it through. Yeah. I mean, you are... You're able to use flight, which is a very important icon. Heat Vision, Super Breath, and Super Punch. Those are the four icons that they gift you in the game uh, for this area. I have to ask, though, like, are the other powers actually useful at all, or is it just best... I, I mean... Yeah. Okay. Like, right, I mean, here, like, the Super Breath, the Super Punch, and the... Uh... You know, I mean, that, that's how you're going to attack all these demons and cannons. Gotcha. So we're like 17 minutes in through here, right? And mm -hmm. so far, I see some high, relative high scores from Tell Little May Rose. Well, you know, we might have to check some of the... Uh, Yeah. Um, you know, everything else as we go. Oh my gosh, the flight icon is automatically select. Wait, when you switch to other things, do you actually, like, stop flying? No. Okay, yeah, that wouldn't make sense. So why even have flight as an icon there? It's dumb, well, it's not needed. for this level... For this level, it's not needed. Well, yeah, just don't have it there. It's a waste of space. You could have given him another power, like uh, s telescopic vision. Yeah. So this says the flight icon is automatically selected for each game when Superman is activated into flight by the joystick. Fine, that's fine. All powers can exhaust Superman's energy levels. So is that the power yep. bar? Uh, so you can see here okay. that um, each, with the exception of flight, right, which is going to be on for the whole thing here, right, um, that they all have an energy like level below them. Okay. Right. So when you exhaust that, you you can swap, right? Like it takes a little while to come back. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Uh, okay, so that is the energy level. It, it says, essentially, uh, to replenish these levels will require a short waiting time. During this waiting time, other icons can be selected and used. I actually am kind of... I like that idea. There are a lot of, uh, a lot of games that just had a shared energy slash resource tank, and that really discouraged you from using... Uh, things that may be suboptimal, but uh, having it spread out so that each one has its own energy bar, yep. I think is generally a good idea. I mean, MMOs do that by having cooldowns for certain things. Uh, League yeah, so of like, Legends. In, in, in these cases, too, all these um, powers are interesting. The Super Breath will blow them back. <laughs> right, the super punch will, you know, if they're really close. Yeah. With that said, like, yeah, it does that. But still, everybody is dying so much. I think Withheld is doing the best at staying alive for the longest time. But you, so you, you basically have to, like, gun everybody down and and keep going. Do you have to kill all the demons and cannons then? Oh, I, I'm looking at everything here, right? And it looks like you will, yeah, I mean, as you fly. 
Yeah, but they're, they hurt you. I don't want to fight them. Pacifist route. Let's just get to where we're going. You know, if oh, we take I mean, down the mainframe, all the ships will be dead. Yeah. Find the mothership. What even is a boom tube? I don't know. I'm going to look that. I'm going to try looking that up. Uh, boom tube Superman. Uh, I know that apparently it actually is something in the Superman universe. It's a slang expression. Quoting from the Superman fandom wiki. Uh, it's an extra dimensional point to point travel portal opened by a mother box used primarily by the new gods of new Genesis and apocalypse. The moniker derives from the loud boom that erupts when a tube is created. So there you go. Boom tube is a wormhole. That's not even, like, that's all it had to say. Boom tube equals wormhole, except loud. Loud wormhole. I mean, basically. Yeah. So, with that said, uh, because of that, we are fighting dark seeds, evil parademons, dark, dark whatever. So I think if Withheld goes through and kills the guys who are left here, right? Yeah. I like what Withheld is doing a lot. Um, Withheld is going through, and, and every time uh, her um, health gets low, she goes and hides in the corner. Okay. I would, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, and But I think it works really well. Yeah. Uh, honestly, you know, watching your health meter is probably the most important thing to do in here. That way you don't die after flying for, like, 50,000 kilometers. Look, Superman can go fast enough around the Earth to go backwards to in back time. time. Uh, yeah, the big question is, is he actually making the Earth go backwards, or is he just time-traveling by doing that? I don't know. Our gingerbread... If a gingerbread man is in a house, is he made of house, or is the house made of flesh? The house is made of him. <laughs> I mean, it like, if, if they were made from the same batch of gingerbread then it's even cl even more closely related to him. He must scream because he does not know. I just scream for fun. <laughs> ah! Justin's going to get angry. I better stop. Uh-oh, he's he shook his finger at me. <laughs> wait, wait. So we're 23 minutes in. Nobody has beaten level one. With Held is in fur. She's like stayed alive for a long time. Yeah, and then Lil May Rose, I've seen with a score above a thousand. I'm gonna check the, the high scores for everybody as they, they die. Yeah. You know what? I would right. say that if your soup if your gingerbread man is smart enough to scream, you probably should stop baking. I it's probably, like, against some sort of law for you to continue that. I don't want anything. I don't want to make anything that's capable of screaming. Uh, this is me talking to a parent. So. <laughs> You've made your mistake, Corn Dad. Now I have to live with it. I have made my mistake. Yeah, it was a good mistake. I am living with it, but I, I, I think... Mini corn is great. Yeah, I mean, mini corn's capable of more things than screaming. First off, yeah. he can golf. Mini golf. He is very good. Well, he, he plays mini golf. Oh, Whether okay. he's good or not is another question. He is actually kind of good at pinball, though. He can pinball. Mini golf can pinball. Yeah. And also is capable of more noises other than screaming. So I would yes. say that uh, by all accounts, he is not a gingerbread man. <laughs> this is a good game, everybody. Are people complaining yet? Let me see. No, no. nobody has talked in the Discord? At they're, all. They're still just flying. Yeah. 
Whatever. Okay, I'm looking up Dark Side, and this Wikipedia page I think is longer than some countries' pages. So. Oh yeah, Dark, gonna... Dark Side is. Dark Side is a very old Superman villain. What's his deal? Like, what does he do? He's affiliated with Great Darkness. Oh, oh, so edgy. Uh, the Dark Army. Oh, okay. Uh, his status alignment is bad. I mean, <laughs> he's yeah. a bad boy. Oh, that dark side. Oh, identity, public identity. What the crap does that mean? Okay. His... It means his real name is Dark Side. Oh, okay. My real name is Dark Side. Friends call me Dark Side. Okay, just like Forrest Gump. Okay, he doesn't go around. He doesn't beat around the bush. That's his name. Okay. His race is New God. Citizenship Apocalypse. I'm pretty sure that, like, if you take over the world, you can be a citizen of it, too. Like, right? No, no, uh, Apocalypse is a planet. It's where Apocalypse lives. Yeah, but you can be a multi citizen. You, you can be a citizen of multiple places. I mean, if he wants to be. I mean, if he takes over the planet, I think he just gets it. I would. I, I'd give it to him. I'm like, yeah, citizen now. What am I going to do? Like, not give you, uh, like, benefits? No, I'll give you I'll give you benefits. So, <laughs> what I've seen here, because I, I, I'm <laughs> parsing I'm, everyone's high scores, right? So we can kind of get a gauge of progress, right? Yes, yes. Um, It's withheld, the Little May Rose, then Windrider Shiva. Windrider Shiva is getting a lot better. So we might see that change a little bit. Lil May Rose is having fun. I don't even know what what, what happened there. I'm, I'm, yeah, she's moving the mouse and then failed. <laughs> Crappy is no, not no. doing a very good job. Still at zero points. That's fine. Still at zero points. But yeah, Windrider Shiva up to ten sixty for the score there. By the way, Dark yep, Side's tall. marital status is single. If you are also bad aligned, then you may wish to go and hit Dark Side up. Yeah. Uh, however, his occupation is dictator of of apocalypse. So I don't know. He might be yeah. busy. So our chat is asking: Are we sure there is a level two? And the answer is yes. Supposedly, like. I don't know what the win wait, wait. condition is for I'll, level I'll give, one. I'll give it a little bit of... Um, I think you got to kill all the guys. But I'll, I'll, um, I'll give a little bit of a spoiler. Level two? It's a side-scrolling beat-em-up. Okay. <laughs> I'm excited. By the way, I'm taking a look on game FAQs. Uh, as far as I can see, there have been two uh, ratings. It's rated great right now. Uh, and its length is rated over 80 hours. <laughs> well, I mean, at the rate we're playing now, that is kind of true. <laughs> All right, so Wind River Shiva has definitely moved into second. <laughs> okay, right, in terms of yeah. pseudo progress. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, score wise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that's really all we have to go off of here. Oh, jeez. We could have we could have had an eighty hour Kuso match, Cornan. I can't believe that we passed that up. I mean, we still kind of are. <laughs> Feels like eighty hours. <laughs> oh, these aliens! These silly little stinky aliens just flying around being smelly boys and trying to destroy Superman. I, I, I'm not gonna lie, I really love the game oh, over no. screen. <laughs> uh, I'm worried about withheld, withheld, dying after all this time. But you get, you get three lives. I mean, yeah, but how many lives does she have? I don't know. She just flew away. I love that after Superman takes so much damage, he doesn't even like fall to the ground. He just flies off to the corner. See, with with Helda's back, where where she was at? Yeah, no, now, except for demons and cannons counted. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, you can blow up like the boom tubes or something. 
Yeah, this game is the chat. Chat has it right. This game is brutal. I feel like that if you blow brutal. up uh, a wormhole, that that I mean, you could kill cause a lot problems. of demons. I mean, yeah, you, you kill, kill the demons, but more than that, like, what about the universe? I mean, that's gonna cause some problems. Concerns. Right, you're either going to have to say, you know, destroy the universe now or destroy the universe later. I mean, so... I don't think you should ever destroy the universe. Just don't do it, okay? And if you can stop yourself from destroying the universe, just don't do it, okay? Skip oh, it. I mean, so my next question is why? Like, you may be like, I don't want to destroy the universe, right? But you know what? Bingo. If somebody gave me a button I could push to maybe destroy the universe, I I'd consider it. Oh, jeez. I like chaos, but I don't like being evil. I'm, I'm much more of the, like, beneficial sort of chaos, you know? Like, sure, Cusa Grande, it appears evil, but it's actually good, because y'all are ha hopefully having a good time. I mean, I'm having a good time. Oh, well, good. So am I. So, yeah. Having a better time for if I those... could get this thing back in the box. Just get in the box. For those who are wondering, by the way, yes, this was made in the UK. Uh, it came out from what I can see on the Acorn, on Amiga, Amstrad, CPC, the Atari ST, BBC Micro, Commodore 64, MSX, ZX Spectrum, you know, all of your yeah, favorite it came consoles out on a lot here. Of things. Yeah. <laughs> As far as I can see, the 16-bit versions of the game actually received favorable reviews. Uh, this version, uh, the I mean, Amiga version, got 69%. Yeah. I mean, I would argue that for it's the time, right? Okay. Like, like it, it's a it's a fairly okay game for the time. Oh yeah, I mean, right? look, I mean, this is 89. Look, there's. Uh, Parallax. That, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. It, it comes out in 1989. Like, what do you have the option? If you're lucky, you might have a Genesis, maybe. Yeah. Right? And, and otherwise, MS-DOS doesn't look this good. Right? Your Commodore 64 doesn't look this good. You know? So this is kind of your, like, amazing option in comparison. Honestly, uh, yeah, I'd say, like, I probably wouldn't play this for very long. If I had this as a kid, I'd be like, I'd give it a shot, and I'd be like, okay, uh, that was fun for a little while. Let's do something else. Yeah, of course you would. But I don't, like, I'm not sure that I would have uh, been the type of kid to realize this was bad. I just would have known that I was bored. Well, I mean, you would be bored if you couldn't figure out, like, getting to level two. Well, yeah, right? how I, do I, you get there? Like, what is the win condition here? What allows you to make it to the second level? So I, I went and looked up some long plays. Yeah. And it just looks like everybody beats up demons until... So you have yeah you, you actually have to fight. You can't just be a nerdy little you can't just... Clark Kent hiding away in your cubicle writing newspaper articles. No, you gotta you gotta go and be super, okay? Be as super far as you can tell anyway. Yeah. It looks like Lil May Rose is having some internet issues. I'll just be patient until the stream is back. Omega Number says that they would play this on Commodore 64 if it had better music. And by better, do you mean any? Uh, because honestly, like, music during a stage... it Like, Commodore 64 didn't do that very often, but occasionally did. Occasionally had an option between sound effects and music. And honestly, if the music were better on the I mean, C64 if, if all you got... and the stage, yeah. yeah. All you got for the stage was the Superman, like, main theme. Like, you know what? I'm down for that. Yeah. I could just listen to the Superman main theme 
the entire time, cut out the sound effects, and this would actually almost be fun. Like, it, it would still be this game, it's just that music can do a lot of heavy lifting. Oh, yeah. Wow, wow. Okay, Withheld is sometimes trying to fight. Uh, she just jumps in there on occasion when it looks like there aren't too many bullets on the screen that are going to cause problems. It's like these giant uh, disruptor, concussive, uh, percussive circles, they're a big problem. Like, they yeah. take up so much room on the screen, especially when they're fired from a decent, uh, decent ways away, and then they just grow and grow and grow and grow and grow and grow, and then suddenly it's like 90% of the screen you cannot go in because they are just hogging the screen. With that said... It looks like Windrider Shiva has actually gotten the hang of killing things. My gosh, seven yeah, I, demons? I, five cannons? Demons? I, I mean, I think Windrider Shiva, right, is very quickly on the pace um, to overtake withheld. I think so. Like, there's a chance that Windrider Shiva could move uh, not only into first place, but onto stage two which we believe exists. I have, I've never seen it, but I have heard the legend of level two. I mean, I am aware of the legend of, of level two. Oh my gosh. Windrider Shiva a while ago did some Final Fantasy fourteen with me, the, the uh, Palace of the Dead. Uh, we did, I think about 30 or so floors together. And that was a lot of fun. And then I've been trying to do it by myself, and I uh, am... Uh, it's just like a roguelike, you know? You die a lot. Is, yeah. A lot. <laughs> I'm so glad, everybody, that uh, you're all here and that you're all enjoying this. Because I'm having a blast with this, and I really just want to see level 2. If I do not see level 2 by the time the hour is up, I'm going to go ahead and say that it is just... It's an urban legend, and that it's fake. Level 2 is fake. If we don't see it today. Other I mean, people I have don't... just, like, hacked and made their own Superman levels for level two. If you see it on the internet, it's a lie. Oh, oh. What? Windrider Shiva is through? We, we get level two. Nice piece of... We didn't even see the full dialogue. Nice piece of... But you, you just got to beat, like, guys up. So you have to play the game. That's my least favorite way of playing games. Uh, Y'all, if you didn't catch Don't Make Us Bored last night... The golf game, <laughs> let me tell you, the biggest mistake of racing that game is trying to play it. The Pretty much. The best way to do it is to figure out how to, uh, like, not play it and just hit your ball straight up. Okay, we've got side-scrolling and laser eyes. Yeah. yeah, and oh, blow them away, Windrider Shiva. Look at that strut. When Ryder Shiva has got like the right idea, right? Like, yeah, blow them away, then I laser them until they die. That's how I deal with my enemies. Give them the glare, and then I, then I go, yeah, and then they leave. They leave me alone. Work especially well, like at the height of the pandemic. Doesn't work quite as well these days, Utah. Yeah, well, you know. <laughs> so you know now the downside is you do you died in that and heck we went back to level one by the way for those who don't know withheld and little may rose both have five points windrider shiva is the one who entered this match with, with two. two points so she needed to stay out of third 
I think that at this pace, all three of our players are going to be able to stay in the so, tournament. Correct. That's what it looks like. Oh, oh, Windrider or withheld. That's a game over. Made it to. Is it? Oh yeah. Made Damn. it to level one. Yay! Level one. Yeah. Dude, you have failed. Yeah, you failed. Why are you gonna be like that? Like the laser eyes are definitely what, like, deal a lot of damage here. And let's see if yes. withheld withheld switch to them and is using them a little bit more. But she's also, like, afraid of being aggressive. I'd say that, like, still, having a high score is not a bad idea right now. Uh, if you get a game over, though, do not worry about grinding out a high score. Just try to kill everything. But I don't, I mean, I think, what, what I think part of the, the issue is, right? Yeah. Is, you know, because I said, like, if, if we're on the same level, Right, then, you know, high score is important. Right, which is true. Um, mm -hmm. You know, I think trying to gauge, um, you know, progress, like... I... Yeah, I, I, I think that uh, if you don't... Well, you know, like, like, if you're like, I can't, I can't make this through, right? But I've got a way of grinding all of this out. Yeah. I, I think that's a, I mean, I think... I think that's a valid strategy here. You yeah, I'd agree with don't that. Think... Honestly, uh, like that, that you know might be a good funny, enough right? strategy for second place. Yeah. Yeah, like Wind Rider Shiva is. Uh, you know, I do not vibe with this game. <laughs> <laughs> the only person. <laughs> You're the only person in history to have made it to level two. Wait, JK. Okay, maybe a few people on YouTube had. Uh, but... Yeah, maybe some people have. Yeah. So question, if you die even once, do you go back to the beginning of level one? It... Yeah, it looks like it. I do not like that. Yeah, in the second level we can we can check by progress, right? Um, yeah. You know, it, it has a um, it's a horizontal. Yeah, you're able to see. Oh, if it has a distance meter, even better. But yeah, right now, yeah. Uh, I think withheld is making the right move by trying to grind out a high score, uh, because she she's tried to get through level one and just hasn't been able to do it well. Uh, with that said. I, I feel like if I got a game over and pinned this high score and it took me, what, half an hour to get it, I would probably just be like, let's play sure risky now. Let's be risky. Let's just go and see if I can kill enemies and if that's what's required to make progress. And if and, not, then I've got a high score. Chat is asking, how. what's the health for level one? Health is always power. Right, it's your big power bar. Yeah. Uh... You thought that money was power? No. No, Superman is power. Well, no, because Superman keeps failing. His planet needs him. This isn't even his planet. He's in... It's just playing it now. Well, okay, yeah, that's true. And actually, I feel like, uh, I I feel like for the U.S., having somebody from uh, a distant planet show up and save them over and over again, it's kind of a message that we need today. That Superman's a good guy. Yo, it, Superman and, is. Yeah. And maybe he, maybe he showed up illegally in a comet, and maybe he is technically an alien, but he is freaking awesome, okay? And, well, technically, he didn't immigrate here. He's an illegal alien. Well, I mean, he's sort of, I don't know, if you, if you ship a baby through, uh, like, international postage, I think you can st still call that illegal. 
immigration. I mean, I, I suppose Superman could claim asylum. <laughs> he he could. He was a baby. How are you gonna claim asylum as a baby? Well, goo goo gaga. I'm a baby. I don't even know why I'm here anymore. I'm just a stupid little baby. Yeah. I, I mean, he can claim asylum when he gets older, right? He has adopted parents. They could help claim asylum for him. Oh, I mean, yeah, okay. They were like, there's a baby. We're not going to go. What are we going to do with them? Let's just help him. Alternatively, because he was so young, his parents could have just, you know, applied for a social security card and said they had a baby in like 1940, whatever, and nobody would have questioned it. Yeah, it would so, be a little bit harder these days, but I don't know. You might mom, mom and Pa Kent, right? You know, could have could have defrauded the United States, right, for immigration issues. You know what? I feel like defrauding the United States to get Superman in is probably worth it. I, I mean, it. I think that's I, the I right think that's thing to do. Good yeah. call. Okay. Uh, yeah, for any of you, uh, this is a very specific situation that I am citing, and it should not be used for any type of personal decisions that may or may be made about supermen who show up in your life, you know? So, don't take... This is not an advice panel. This is my opinion about Superman. <laughs> This game is so boring. In my opinion. I don't know. I'm opinionated about this. I don't, I don't I mean, know. It would be less boring if people would get to level two. Yeah, get back to level two, Windrider Shiva. You did it once. You can do it again, right? Yeah, I'll go ahead and say that, like, Every once in a while, superheroes do have to make the choice between what is morally right and what is legally right, because a lot of the times they conflict. Uh, but luckily, Superman doesn't have the Batman complex. I, I remember... <sighs> back when I was teaching at the university, I'd occasionally have students who had, like, a kind of cool idea for a research paper and i'm like if you use sources and do a, some heavy research into this this could end up being a fantastic paper and then they never would uh but they're like okay who would win in a fight batman or superman and like they i mean if you could yeah if you could lay it out sure if you would need to use sources that actually like talk about uh the characters there but they just didn't have very very good sources they're like wikipedia or uh webster defines a super superman as it's like no i don't care about that that's a sucky source how about you cite the specific comic and issue um, where superman or batman did blank 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 you know that will so give I me a real in universe example of what they would do how about this i i will i will sort of settle the argument if this is a planned fight like where batman has time to prepare batman will probably win not because batman is whatever batman is well prepared and you know has access to a lot of resources even though he's just a human here's what right? i would say Batman has a legal, or not a legal, he has a moral code that will not allow him to kill. Superman will kill. If it comes down to it, Superman will win. I, I mean, but, but I mean, Based if off they the moral had to code fight, alone. Like, yeah, if they had to fight and do all of that, right? Batman would win if, if there was preparation allowed. If there, you know, if this was more of a spur of the moment or everything like that, right? Superman would win. Yeah, I, I think that's probably true. But in the long game, Superman will come and kill Batman eventually. That's just, like, if if it had to come down to it, uh, Superman's fight is never done, and Batman will not kill. I mean, I, yeah. Yep. So there you go. 
So we got 10 minutes left. Could we see somebody else get to um, round two? You know, and the answer is yes. Actually, that makes me wonder. Superman gets older, right? He he did age from alien baby to alien adult. But yeah. does he stop aging at that point? Is he immortal or does he still keep getting older? I don't know. I, I don't know anything about the people of Krypton. So Chad's saying, <laughs> Green Rider Shiva must be feeling way behind right now. And you guys, you have no idea in the match chat, Wind Rider Shiva is talking about how they're terrible at this. Wind Rider Shiva is in the lead. And has no idea. I, yeah, that's the type of game. In Kusa Grande, uh, occasionally you will get a game where no matter how well you do, you feel like you have failed. And that is this game. There is no way to feel like you have done well at this. Yeah, not, not a chance. So, I mean, given where we're stand, I don't think things are going to change unless Little May Rose makes it to level two. Right? They're not going to make it on points, right, for level one. Okay. Right, and I think Withheld is, has even killed more demons, right, in that, you know, where we know where the demon stuff is um, key to this. You know, but we did say if they're on the same level and they get to the same spot, it's on score. Um, so Little May Rose has to just like kill, kill all the demons, and make it to level two, um, right, to get anywhere. Otherwise, I think everything is set. Little May Rose did put in, just put in the Discord, Man of Steel, more like Man of Oof, ah. <laughs> it's true. He oofs, he ahs. And, and then he decides, F this, somebody can handle it. Yeah, this is even... He's noisier than people at a fireworks show. He just... <laughs> okay, so apparently, I'm, I'm looking it up, it looks like depending on which storyline you're following superman can live to an, into his hundreds thousands and beyond i would say that batman would be able to with preparation would be able to get superman into a jail of uh kryptonite but that superman would eventually outlive batman and like Superman eventually just wins. There's there's no case where Superman doesn't win. So there you go. Unless unless Batman invents the ability to put his head in a jar. In that case, there Ooh. could be no solution. So if Batman and Superman were in the Futurama universe, that's right. I I think I'm, I, I have no idea. I think Batman would technically get the victory here. I don't know. We would have to ask Matt Groening. <laughs> yeah, let's let me go ahead and just give him a phone call. Do do do. Ring ring ring. Hey, Matt. Little. Oh, Simpsons last night was good. It was last night a thing? So, uh, tell me about future um. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Uh, he said he'll get back to me. Okay. Cool. And, 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 and Time Stalker, I see you in chat asking why. Um, the answer is because they vetoed everything else and I got mad. Yeah, this is, yeah. Uh, this is not I, a I was love I trying pick. to be nice. We've I was got trying to be nice. Five minutes left. Right now, for those who are unawares, Windrider Shiva Hat is the only player to have made it to level two. Uh, withheld 
on level one has made a fantastic score push over oh, 5,000 points. Like, withheld almost made it, right? We needed like 12 demons or something, right? Withheld almost got there. Uh, we needed 12 demons. Everybody, I need 12 demons in my life. You want to be my demon? No, I don't. <laughs> what? Then we can go platform. Come on. Gordon, I just need 12. How many GMs do I have? Do I have enough GMs to move on to level two? Not that show up at any given point in time. Oh, crap. Well, I I don't need them all at the same time. Like, as long as, as long as they've existed and I have 12 demons, I think I can go and platform a little bit. Look, I, I want to point out here, I got mad enough, I tried to give them Journey to the Center of the Earth, and that got vetoed too. Wait, what? Which, Who which vetoed that? Makes me happy. I need to know. All of them? Wait, they've all played it? <laughs> well, because I gave it as a pack-in, right, to make sure your DOS stuff works. Oh, so and, they and tried it. Played it. Yeah. Oh, that which, was a makes... very good idea. Right, which, you know, so if you play it, so like, I don't want to get this, right? Right, which means you play it for a significant enough time to under that. I win anyway. I love that. Uh, everybody, yeah, if there is a game that you truly hate and fear, uh, and it is already packaged in with the test emulators that you have and such, you probably should play it, okay? If you don't want, want to ever get it on Cusa Grande, uh, because you absolutely do not want to play it, then play it now. Don't you love it, Corn Dad? The only way to not get punished is to punish yourself. I, and, and I tried to give them other games, right? I, I, there's a game I've been trying to give out for five years now that everybody keeps playing. I wonder I'm what really, it is. Uh, Lagoon, I'll tell you right now, oh, it's well, Lagoon. Okay, yeah, uh, yeah, one day you might be able to get that out, but... Right. I but feel... I'm not going to lie, if I could get four people who haven't played Lagoon, which I think I can, because we've had four people who haven't played Castlevania before. You know, I think I might actually uh, uh, qualify as one of those people who hasn't played Lagoon. Maybe I've played a, a section or two in a cave or something, but I don't think I've ever uh, battled a boss or beaten a boss. Like, I know everything that I know about Lagoon is what I've seen in Cusa Grande. But, I mean, so the best part is if you give out Lagoon, like, Lagoon is not real good about telling you what to do at the start. So there, there is a 50-50 chance, even, that the winner of the Lagoon match would be like, I made it out of town. <laughs> and I'm not even lying. I love that. See, that's sort of how I felt about, like, Super High Light. That's why I gave people, like, a general guide of tasks for them to do so that, like they would know what order to do things in so that they could make a teeny amount of progress. So in Discord, I, I just want to share this because this is amazing, right? Little May Rose, you know, posts, oh, heck, mom texted me and distracted me. Right? Windrider Shiva goes, mine's talking to me while I'm doing this. <laughs> Windrider Shiva, you've still, you don't like, even know. you still won. You have you don't, oh yeah, you won at this point in time. You don't even know. Like, and that's the best part. Yeah, I think Wind Rider Shiva is like, I'm just eliminated from the tournament. Yeah. How I, mean, I think I would think you so. Are. I think I would, would agree. Like, yeah, people, uh, I, I understand that we only have like 30 seconds left. I don't care. We're going to watch till the end. <laughs> we saw a little bit of level two. That's enough for me. That's enough for me to have had a lot of fun. Uh, Novasol, you're asking how far did they get? Oh, jeez. Novasol, just go back and watch the show. Yeah. Okay. Novasol, we saw 30 seconds of level two, and that was it. Yeah, to be honest, we did not see a whole lot, but there you go, everybody. That is time throw your hands in the air we're done with superman and you can go fly off to another like principality uh, something if you'd like you want to fly somewhere you're gonna go be a little 
be a little little bumblebee and go fly off into the air. Uh, I love it. With health, like I like this game. With little May Rose got like 1350 points. Okay, with health made 5,000 something points and Wind Rider Shiva made it to level two, making Wind Rider Shiva, oh, with health got over 6,000. Wind Rider Shiva takes the victory. I think Wind Rider Shiva is like putting everything together right now. No, nope, maybe not. <laughs> okay, she is shocked. <laughs> she absolutely does not believe that she won this match. This is hilarious. But Withheld takes second place. Little May Rose takes third. All of them stay in the tournament. Nobody is eliminated today. And that, is, except for crap, nobody is eliminated. Sorry, crappy. Gotta make you go bye bye. <laughs> I've eliminated crappy from the tournament. <laughs> I feel evil now. Never mind. Crappy, you can come back. Come back. Yeah, there you go. Uh, yeah, chat is not very happy about me eliminating Crappy. So uh, it looks like Wind Rider Shiva is trying to find a mic. I don't think she expected to be coming to talk to us about taking first. But heck, I'm excited. <laughs> With that said, this is not a good game. Uh yeah, the biggest thing, uh, Withheld definitely did get close to making it to uh, level 2. I'm not completely sure how many demons she killed, but you have to kill a certain number of demons and or cannons, and I don't know. There's no information about this on the internet. I yeah. And the manual doesn't tell us either. Why would the manual tell us? Manuals are for nerds. Yeah. Except that everybody was a nerd if you were playing video games in the 80s, so, like, the manuals were for nerds. You usually had to read the manual in order to figure out what the crap was going on in games, and this manual just did not help at all. That's okay. I'll, I'll go ahead and move away from that screen, and hopefully Wind Rider Shiva comes and joins us in a little bit. I very much enjoyed this. Uh... Yeah, uh, I, Withheld is like, did, was this really based off of killing things? Because I basically had one section of flying for about 30 minutes. And uh, yeah, from what I saw, like, she did punch a lot of demons, right? They didn't die. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I'm not sure exactly uh, uh, if you can kill demons by punching. Oh no, Guinea Prince Manual just says get good, nerds, and on the next page it's blank so that you can take notes. You know, at times I definitely, like, I, I feel like taking notes and writing things down was very much encouraged back in the 80s so that you could, like, start figuring your way through a lot of these mysterious games. Uh, once, I believe, Super Nintendo sort of expected that a little bit, N64 and later, like, no, they, they sort of were like, there's no reason for us to make you, like, take notes and stuff. Uh-oh, Wind Rider Shiva is having mic issues. Mic no! At least we got her reaction. Like, I'm really, really happy about that. <laughs> we'll see if somebody wants to come in and, and yell at us. Yeah. And if nobody does, I don't think Crappy can talk. No, Crappy can't talk. So uh, let, let's see. Uh, I do like that Withheld's like, uh, congrats, would have been nice to know how to get to stage two. Oh. Like, yeah, I agree. I, I, I completely understand that. Uh, so I you, like, that that's one of the mysteries with Kusagan. Sometimes uh, it is good I, to I, give information, but at the same time, when a nuke is dropped, 
There's your nuke, everybody. Kaboom! <laughs> well, I, I think that we're pretty much done with this match today. Everybody, we are moving on to... Uh, on away from this match. Oh, we might Wait. have Little May Rose might join in. And... Oh. Maybe. Oh uh, I'll go ahead and give about 30 seconds more and see if we do have anybody come and join us. Uh, but yeah, you can pretty much guarantee that when uh, there are a lot of redraws, there may be a game show up that uh, even we do not completely know how it works. And I, I definitely understand that. It can be a frustrating thing. But at the same time, how often, you know, did we uh, back in the 80s and 90s sit down, turn on a computer game and have no idea how to play it? We just yeah, had to it, figure it, it out. I, I am seriously, by the way, trying to look this up, right? And all of the long plays like have no idea. Yeah, it, it was just, I, I, I think... Like, nobody knows. From what I understand and from everything that I've seen, it's just kill enemies, kill them relatively quickly, uh, and I think there has to be a combination between demons and cannons killed. There's gotta be something, I... Wait. Three Hams is saying that apparently there was a match they yeah, were Dana in that was, was canceled. Give it out, like, this straight. was the first game given. Oh, three Hams. That was, here's the deal. If Dana gives a game, it is a nuke. It's just that Dana has like the mother of all nukes. Dana, Dana, like Dana doesn't pull the punches because that is a weak punch for Dana. That is terrifying. <laughs> well, Cordan, I think that that is going to be it for Cusar Grande tonight. Uh, I was planning yeah. to have the night off, and I just uh, luckily I, match. <laughs> I never got pinged. I went and looked. You definitely. I got pinged at 4:45 today. Uh, and and if there is another ping somewhere else, I'm gonna go and make sure that I wasn't missing anything. But I'm. I might have just missed something, but I'm going yeah, with the theory. It, but the I'm going with the theory that I am perfect. <laughs> uh, and now Ascent is yelling at me to play Final Fantasy XIV, so I may do that. Everybody, let's go and raid somebody uh, and see who we are going to raid. We did have a wonderful raid message. What was it? It was something about like leaving to let other people handle Earth or whatever. I don't um, know what we're even doing. You have failed. It now falls to other heroes to champion Earth this day. Yeah, we we can go ahead <laughs> and use that last bit for the message. Little Lancelot over at White Hat Stream. White Hat plays a lot of bad games or lesser known games. And I actually kind of like this game that he's playing. It's not great, but it's kind of fun. It now falls to other heroes to champion Earth this day. Let's raid White Hat 94. Everybody, I will see you maybe later on this week, but for sure on Saturday morning for Cusa Grande. I'll let people know on Twitter and Wind Discord. Windrider has a mic. Windrider Shiva has a mic. What? Cancel the raid. Are you here, Windrider Shiva? I hope so. They hop in. Hurry up and hop in. Okay. I've got 10 seconds or I'm raiding. That's my rule. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. All right. All right, everybody. See you Saturday, and I will try to be around earlier than that. Uh, yeah, this is Little Lancelot, aka Punch Bear Games.